I'm Walter Perez. And I'm Shari Williams. We are following breaking news. A burst of gunfire left three people dead and 11 others wounded on Philadelphia's South Street. So the gunfire erupted at about 1130 last night as people were having a nice time enjoying a warm late spring evening. We have live team coverage tonight. Katie Catro spoke to business owners and witnesses caught in the chaos. Jacqueline Lee has a reaction from city leaders, including Jim Kenney. But first, let's begin with Action News reporter Annie McCormick live for us outside police headquarters with the latest on the investigation. Annie. Yeah, and Sharon Walter, those who were shot, their ages range from 17 all the way to 69. Now, of those who did survive the shooting and still remain in the hospital with their injuries, their injuries vary, so their conditions range from stable to critical condition. 14 people shot just after 1130 Saturday night by 2nd and South Streets. Three of the shooting victims died. Police sources say two of those killed were innocent bystanders. The third killed, according to police sources, is the man in the white T-shirt who you see pull a gun out of his waistband here. The man in the black T-shirt, according to sources, was also shot and is in critical condition. A police officer also fired at one alleged shooter who dropped his weapon and ran. Police believe he was hit by gunfire. Police are still looking for him and several more. We know ballistically that we had at least five different guns out there. There's five different guns. We recovered two. So there's three guns that we still need to find and, and compare to our evidence. Philadelphia police confirmed they received intel of potential problems on South Street and several other areas of the city by monitoring social media. Mayor Jim Kenney told Action News there were 70 police officers in the immediate vicinity of South Street. But at 8 p.m. the crowd swelled and we asked between that time leading up to the shooting what was done to disperse the crowd. Police could not say yet, citing it's too early in the investigation. We also asked about resources. The police these force numbers have gone down while crime is going up. When I say I would love to have more resources, it's also so we can address quality of life issues and be present citywide, not just concentrated in certain uh, parts of the city. Now, additionally and separately, there was a shooting prior to the 1130 shooting on South Street at 4th and Bainbridge. Rather, there were no victims and also a homicide just after 1 a.m. near Broad and South as well. For now, reporting live outside of police headquarters, Annie McCormick, Channel 6 Action News.